Hi, uh, thanks for uh, tuning in today. Uh, my name is Matthew Parrott and I'm the Director of Transportation for AN Derringer. And today we're going to talk about a couple more INCO terms. Um, previously I had spoken about XWorks and FOB and today we're going to talk about two other INCO terms being DDP and DAP. And to give you a refresher on INCO terms, INCO terms have been around since 1936 and were created by the International Chamber of Commerce. They've been refreshed several times over the years, most recently in 2010. So to get right to it, um, what are the differences between DDP and DAP? Um, so right now, and I'll start with DDP on the um, on my left and your right. Um, so DDP means delivered duty paid, and it's very important that the INCO term standing alone by itself really doesn't mean anything. You need to say DDP, I'll say St. Albans, Vermont, because that's where I'm standing right now. Um, so you have to add a location with both DAP and DDP. If you have DDP alone, it, you, you can't do anything with it because you don't know who is going to pay what to where. So what, who is responsible for what with DDP? So DDP, delivered duty paid, the only thing that the buyer of the goods is responsible for is unloading. So the seller of the goods is responsible for packing the freight. And it's important that they pack it in an appropriate um, type of packaging. You don't want to put a Tiffany lamp in a paper bag because it will break and no insurance company will cover that in the world. Labeling, domestic freight, in fact, all freight. Every part of that movement from the shipper's door to the consignee's door, the seller is responsible for that under the DDP terms. So if it's moving by air, they need to get it from their dock to the airport, from the airport in the United States, for example to the consignee's door, so they have to pay all of that. They have to pay all the clearance charges, and they have to pay all duties and taxes. So shifting gears on you a little bit, if we were doing an export from the United States to say um, anywhere in the EU, you would not only have to pay their local taxes and duties, but you might also be responsible for VAT tax, which is value added tax, and that's somewhere between 20 and 30% depending on the country. So you wanna make sure that you have that in your um, sell rate if you're selling DDP or else you're going to have a 20% tax rate that you didn't expect and probably most of you don't have 20% built into your profit. I hope you do, but it would be an awfully bad surprise. So DAP, the only difference between DAP, which is delivered at place, and again, you have to have that place. So delivered at place, St. Albans, Vermont, or DAP, um, London, um, England, or, or whatever the place may be. You need an actual location. So DAP, delivered at place, is exactly the same at DDP, except the buyer pays for customs clearance, duties, and taxes, and also the unloading, the same as DDP. To me, on US export shipments, if you wanna control the freight, but you do not wanna get involved in local taxes that you may or may not be aware or familiar with, DAP is a bit of a less risky proposition to do, and um, you can have more control over it, but not be worried about having a surprise with a duty or a tax bill. So INCO terms are really, really important, um, and they're critical to understanding an international shipment move. So that was a very quick um, synopsis of the difference between DAP and DDP, and I would always welcome any questions, and thank you for your attention. Have a great day.